Do you want to see how I get this many views on TikTok? Or even this many views? Or maybe even this many views? You want to learn how to get a million views? I'll show you. You're going to love this video. Welcome back to another dose of Joseph. If you don't know me, I took my TikTok from zero followers to over 920,000 followers in the matter of only 50 days. And I teach all the strategies that I've used to help grow my TikTok super fast. I've helped tons of people get over 10K followers and even over 100K followers on TikTok. If you end up liking this video, you'll definitely like all the other videos that I have in my TikTok tips to go viral playlist that I'll be linking down below in the description. And if you study the tips in this playlist, there's no reason why you shouldn't get over 100,000 followers yourself. If by the end of this video you learned something definitely like this video and subscribe because i make videos like this every other day also comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that because i answer every single comment if you want to access the first four segments of my tiktok explosion course for free or you want to join my free tiktok viral chat where i'm only allowing 500 people max go to my website doseofjoseph.co and click the access courses and chats button i want to give that to you guys for free since you've been supporting me on my journey through youtube definitely stick around to the end of the video because i always put the best tips towards the end of the video to reward the people that stay all right, so after we had that phenomenal intro, now this isn't only going to be for just getting a million views, it's going to be for getting a lot of views all across your whole page. We're going to get right into the meat and the potatoes. I'm going to be trying something different. We got a whiteboard here. Just want to try something new to keep your guys' attention so you can stay on the video, especially because this video is going to be one of the best videos that I put out about TikTok and about growing on TikTok. So I want to keep your guys' attention. I want you guys to learn as much as you can. And if I get tired of this whiteboard, then we'll take a seat and I'll just start popping words on the screen. So as you saw already, I'm in closer and closer to a million followers on TikTok. I have plenty of videos that got over a million views, some over even 20 million views. And I want to keep it super simple for you and just show you a checklist that you guys need to go over for when you put out your next video and your next videos to come so that you can constantly go viral and get millions of views. I'm talking 10K, 100K, 500K. The general gist of this is just to get more and more views and eventually you will get that million view video that hits. Let me just center this real quick. All right. What I'm gonna be telling you in this video is gonna be getting you, I'm talking like thousands of followers. I'm talking about thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views, likes. I'm talking money, I'm talking Benjamins. All right, so let's get into it, let's talk about it, and let's get friendly with this whiteboard here. I'm not sure if this is centered. I'm gonna put one million views. Boom, look at that masterpiece. Can you guys even see that? All right, so I wrote 1 million views here, and I see that the light from the ring light here is actually blocking the words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start writing below that circle. First thing, quality of the video. Can't really see it there. You can't really see it there. I think we're just gonna have to take a seat. All right, so that clearly didn't work out too well. So I'm just gonna be popping the words on the screen. We're not gonna be using the marker board. Let's get back to business. First thing you wanna focus on is the quality of the video. Make sure you have good lighting like I have right here. Make sure you're using a camera that's not pixelated, not outdated, something that has good quality, at least 10 megapixels, let's say. And the iPhone 6s and up usually have more than that. Make sure you're not using any weird angles and that whatever you're trying to capture in the video could easily be seen within the frame of the camera. Once all these boxes are checked off, you're good to go on the quality. That's the easiest one. Second thing you want to focus on is the one second strategy. Now I already made an in-depth 10 minute video about this one second strategy. It looks like this and you can click it right here. Don't watch it now, watch it after this video. Set a reminder or something like that. But this is basically a strategy that I created that I found works for me for grabbing people's attention right when they start the video and to get people to stay and watch the video all the way throughout. Just to explain briefly what the one second strategy is, basically it's getting people's attention in the first second so that they don't click out of your video. Some simple examples of ways that you could do this is by putting words on the screen or by putting your caption in all capital letters and putting some emojis or by moving quickly in the first second of your video so you grab people's interest and get them curious on what's going to happen next or putting some gifts or pictures on the screen or even speaking loudly when the video starts and also speaking quickly and honestly guys if you're doing speech based content where you're talking to the camera you should always be speaking loudly and fast that's how the top speakers in the world keep people's attention and why they're the top speakers in the world you got to be confident you got to be bold you should 
should never be whispering or having your audience have to strain their ears to hear what you're saying. So that's that guys, that's basically the one second strategy. You wanna get people to stay on the video and you wanna pique their interest right when the video starts. Especially if you're doing speech based content, you wanna cut right to the chase, you don't wanna waste any time. This is why people love action movies because most of the time, even in the beginning, they're doing something crazy that's pulling you into the movie and making you wanna stay. So that's it for the one second strategy. And make sure you guys are taking notes guys. If you don't have a pen and paper out, you're crazy because this stuff is literally all the stuff that I use to blow up on TikTok. Third thing on the checklist, the length of your video. Now I've tested out so many different variations of times for my video and all the videos that I've had that have gotten over 1 million views have been less than 12 seconds long. I've had lots of videos get over 100,000 views and with all the information that I gather from these videos, I've seen that you always want to keep your videos less than 20 seconds long. I honestly think that the shorter the video is, the better. Now why do I think that the shorter the video is, the better? Is because the shorter the video is, the better the chance it's going to be watched multiple times. And when the video is watched multiple times, this increases your average watch time. Now, if you have TikTok Pro where you can see your analytics, every single video that you post, you have the option to view the analytics on that video. And somewhere at the top, you'll see the average watch time. Now, what TikTok does is it gathers all the data of people that are watching your video. They see how long they watch the video and they average together all of the people that are watching your videos and the length of time that they're watching. And this gives you your average watch time. Now, the higher that your average watch time is, the more TikTok is going to push that video out because TikTok is going to see that people are watching this video over and over again. They're going to see that this video is keeping people on the TikTok app and all social media platforms love this. They want to keep people on their app. So the more that you do this, the more that you're going to get rewarded for it. Now that we understand that, let's get back to what I was saying about the shorter the video is the better. Let me give you a quick analogy. If you have a Chipotle next door to you, you're going to be going to Chipotle a lot more than someone else who lives a mile away from Chipotle, right? The shorter the distance, the easier it is to get to, the more you're going to want to go there. So the shorter the video, the easier it is to watch the video over again, especially if it's an entertaining video. So basically what I'm saying is you want your audience to go to Chipotle a lot. Oh my God, I love Chipotle. When a lot of people watch your video over and over, you can actually see that your average watch time can be higher than the length of the video. So for instance, if the video is 10 seconds and people keep watching it over and over, you can see that your average watch time could actually be 15 seconds. And this is gold. The higher that your average watch time is above the length of your video, the better the chance it has to go viral and get a million views. The fourth thing you want to make sure of on this checklist is to have a call to action within your video. Now I have a lot of sales and marketing in my background and call to actions come from that. That's where I learned that from. And basically what a call to action means is calling people to act, whether it's on a landing page or a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad, or even on TikTok, you want to call people to act on your video. You want them to like, you want them to comment and you want them to follow you from your video. Everything in life is a sale. Let me explain this to you. If you want to go out with your friends and you have to ask your mom, you have to sell to your mom that it's a good idea for you to go out and hang out with your friends. If you want to go eat Chipotle, but your girlfriend doesn't want to eat Chipotle, you have to sell to her that it's a good idea that you guys go get Chipotle. Oh. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> My girlfriend's over here listening in. Hold her to put the freaking noise cancellation on. She's still listening to me. SMH. SMH means shake my head. If you're negotiating a price on a house, just you negotiating with the seller, even though the seller is selling you a house, you're selling to them that it's a good idea for them to drop their price. So you get what I'm saying. Everything is a sale. If you want people to like your videos, you want them to comment, you want them to follow you, you have to sell them on the idea that it's a good idea for them to like, comment, and follow. So you need to create a call to action within your video that's going to drive them to like and comment and follow you. You follow what I'm saying? You follow what I'm saying? You see what I did there? You follow what I'm saying? I'm corny as hell right now. Okay, so so as I've mentioned in my other YouTube videos, a good way for you to create a call to action is to literally just ask. Just tell them. Just tell them, like this video. If you thought that was funny, like this video. If you thought that was creative, like this video. If that made you laugh, like this video. If you want to see more of this, hit the ad button. For those of you that don't know, the ad button is basically a button on the side of the screen on the videos that let people follow you directly from your video. So if you tell them to hit the ad button and they do, boom, you have a new follow. So a really good way to do this is to just ask them. Another way that you can do this is to implement this call to action within your video. So just to give you an example, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen hold your breath challenges on TikTok where people literally just challenge people to hold their breath for a certain period of time and you can implement a call to action within this by saying hold your breath. Now while you're holding your breath, like the video. Now while you're holding your breath, hit the add button. Now while you're holding your breath, comment. That's another good way to have call to actions. If you're doing skits or dance videos or acting videos, you can literally put a call to action on the screen. Just write it out. Make sure you have a colored background on the text so it's more prominent. Make it small and put it in one of the corners of the video. Just make sure you're not putting it near where the buttons are on the right side and make sure you're not putting it where the caption is gonna be because you don't 
want these buttons and you don't want the caption to block what you're trying to say. Also, I've noticed that if you make a video outside of TikTok and then you upload it to TikTok, TikTok actually crops the video a little bit on the left and the right. So don't put whatever you're trying to say too close to the left or too close to the right. Give it a little bit of space. This can get you lots of likes, lots of follows, and lots of comments. Now, the reason why you wanna have a call to action that's asking people to like and comment and follow is because when you have people liking, commenting, and following you from your video, TikTok is gonna see this and acknowledge this video as a high quality video that gets lots of engagement. So because of this, TikTok's algorithm is gonna put your video on a silver platter and feed it to the people. And you're gonna end up on the For You page, you're gonna stay on the For You page, you're gonna get lots of views, and this is a great way to get one million views. Don't take that tip with a grain of salt because this is one of the most important things on this checklist. Fifth thing on the checklist, I highly recommend you guys get my course or get my mentorship. I know a lot of you guys are a little bit younger, you don't have a source of income, or with this pandemic going on, you don't have the money for it, and I totally understand that, which is why I make videos like this here on YouTube for free. But not only that, on my website, doseofjoseph.co, you can take my course, the first four segments for free, by going to the courses section, go to the TikTok explosion course, and click free preview. You can see the first four segments. I really wanna help you guys out, so I'm giving you guys that. And on top of that, I also have a free TikTok viral chat that you can get access to on my website as well. Go to the courses and chat section, the same place that you'll find the explosion course. Right at the very top, you'll see the free TikTok viral chat. All you have to do is sign up and you'll get an email with a link to the chat. I'm only allowing 500 people in this chat, so I highly recommend you get in now. Again, it's gonna be on doseofjoseph.co. I'll be putting that in the description and I'll also be putting that in the comments. And if you do have some money that you could use to buy the course or the mentorship, guys, I have packages ranging from $35 to $250. The bigger the package, the more help you're gonna get. You can go take a look at those packages, read about them, learn a little bit more about what you're gonna get. But just to give you a general gist, if you get the mentorship, I will write out a spreadsheet for you and I'll be telling you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, what you could fix. I'll give you a whole bunch of different pages that you could look at that are similar to yours but are doing really well so you can model your content after them. And I'll also give you a day-to-day -day regimen telling you exactly what to do to maximize your growth on TikTok. And if you decide to get the course, the course has 109 high quality videos that are literally jam-packed with everything you need to grow the fastest possible on TikTok. All right, so enough promoting the website. Tip number six on this checklist is gonna be hashtags. Now, I've made a video before about hashtags, guaranteed hashtag strategies that looks like this, and you can find it right here. Again, don't click it now, just watch it afterwards, set a reminder. But if you want an in-depth video, that's what you gotta go watch. But just to give you a general gist, hashtags basically categorize your video so that TikTok knows where to push your video and shows your video to the audience that would be interested in whatever you're making a video on. On top of that, hashtags can give you a little bit of a boost, especially when you're using trending hashtags. If you don't know how to find the trending hashtags when you're making a video, all you have to do is when you're making the caption, push the hashtag button and all the trending hashtags will show up right beneath the caption. I know you guys want specific instructions, so let me give you some solid numbers here. You want at least two trending hashtags. You want three hashtags that are related to your video. So if it's comedy, you want to put comedy, funny, haha, stuff like that. And then you also want to put FYP, which is for you page. And then you want to put hashtag for you page and a personal hashtag that I like to use a lot is hashtag try this. Those last three hashtags that I mentioned are hashtags that I've used countless times on videos that have gone super viral and have gotten over a million views. Huh? It's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Ooh, that song was so terrible. Ugh. Another reason you might wanna use hashtags is because if you rank your video, if you get like a million views, you can end up at the top of that hashtag and anybody that opens up that hashtag will see your video. I've ended up at the top of tons of hashtags and when this happens with your videos, you can get more views and more likes well after you post your video. And if you guys wanna see a hashtag that I ranked in, type in hashtag optical illusion. You'll see me somewhere there at the top. Tip number seven on this checklist, reply to all comments that show up on your video within the first 30 minutes. Minutes. This is gonna give you a little bit of an initial boost on your video and getting as much of a boost as possible on your videos is gonna help you with ranking your video and getting over a million views. And you wanna boost your video as much as you possibly can, whether it's with comments or whether it's with getting more likes or getting more followers, whatever it is, you wanna boost your video as much as possible. So a great way to do this is by using comment boosting. So no matter what the comment is that pops up in your comments, you wanna reply to it. It doesn't have to be well thought out. It could literally just be yes, no, thanks, cool, and maybe 
can even reply multiple times to these comments. The more comments that you have, if people are scrolling through the For You page and see your video, they're gonna see more comments and it's gonna give your video more social proof. And I talk about social proof a lot. Social proof is basically looking good for your audience socially. Having more likes, having more followers, and even having more comments. Having more social proof is gonna help you out a lot in the long run. And comment boosting is a great way to get that and also to boost your video for the TikTok algorithm. Tip number eight on the checklist, times to post. Now, if you post more than 20 videos a day like me, you don't have to focus too much on this. You just have to focus on not posting when people are asleep. Specifically, people not asleep where you live. So I'm in New York, so that would be anywhere from around 1 a.m. Eastern time to around 9 a.m. Eastern time. I don't wanna post any time during these times. Same thing goes for you in your time zone. Anywhere from one to nine, you don't wanna post during those times. But if you only post like one to five times per day, you wanna post during the best times, which is typically around 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. within your time zone. Now, I'm gonna be making a very in-depth video about the best times to post after this video, so make sure you're subscribed and you have the bell notification on so you can get notified when I make that one. So post from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. your time, and don't post any time during the time that the people where you live are sleeping, because this is gonna kill your chances of getting that initial boost, and that initial boost is so important for the virality of your videos, especially if you wanna get more than one million views. I know this is a long video, but bear with me, stick around to the end, because this last one is really important. Checklist tip number nine. You wanna repost all the videos that do fairly well on your page. I cannot tell you guys enough. There's been so many videos of mine that I posted the first time and it did all right, and I posted a second, third, or maybe fourth time, and it got hundreds of thousands of views or even over a million views. In fact, a lot of the videos that I got over a million views with, it wasn't the first time that I posted it. So you need to give your videos multiple chances. I cannot stress enough how important this is. Reposting your videos is also gonna make it easier for you to post more times during the day. And the more times that you post during the day, the more chances that you have at getting a hit video that gets over a million views. So that's all I have for this video today, guys. Again, check out my courses and mentorship at doseofjoseph.co. Go watch those videos that I mentioned during my videos earlier. If you like this video, like below and also subscribe and turn on the bell notification because I make videos like this every other day. Also comment below, I made it to the end because I wanna know who my loyal viewers are. And if you have any questions or anything like that, comment that below as well. If you start to see success with my tips, definitely DM me on Instagram. I message everybody back that follows me. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Boom.